Why most companies don't need AI. There's a lot of hype around AI. Large consulting firms will fearmonger you into thinking that you have to get on the AI bandwagon or you'll be left behind. Really? What if you don't? Can you still use AI in your business? Some companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft have to stay on top of the latest and greatest AI technologies. Their job and business model is to collect lots of data and use AI to extract value out of that data. They in turn offer AI as a service to companies and individuals like you and me. They need to keep up on AI and compete on AI technologies. But many mid and small size companies can't afford to experiment with scalable AI or build a large scale machine learning team. That's okay because even though the world of AI is evolving fast, every CEO who wants to transform his or her business through scalable AI can do so. Many companies spanning the size spectrum from small to large are offering AI in different forms to you. Think of software like Microsoft Word that your organization probably uses extensively. You don't have to actually program anything there to get the benefit. You just bought the software package that contains all the features required and you probably customized certain templates for your company's use. You can think of AI being offered in a similarly packaged form by a slew of companies. You can just use that after adapting and customizing them for your own purposes. So your big problem in AI is not to figure out how to build large machine learning teams or build models or tune the hyperparameters of those models or maintain them or deal with the infrastructure. Even if you did build a machine learning team, the field is advancing so fast that it's extremely difficult just to keep up. Rather, it's better to spend your energy and your time thinking about the areas that you could leverage AI in for competitive advantage which processes will deliver at least 10 times more value with AI, how to change the organizational mindset, how to upgrade your technology, how to provide better customer interactions, and what projects to pursue. Here's an analogy. To formulate your company strategy, don't hire a kindergartner and train him. Hire an MBA who already knows strategy and just teach him your business. To improve your business with AI, same way, don't build everything from scratch. Get good skills and talent and then fine tune for your solution. For example, if you're an insurance company interested in automatically recognizing objects to insure, start with a pre-trained computer vision model and simply train it further to recognize insurable objects that you are interested in. Whether you wanna build an agile machine learning workflow, formulate a data strategy, identify the best models for your problems, fine tune the parameters, make business decisions, deploy and scale your AI solutions on the cloud, manage different model versions, enable smart chatbots, recognize people, or do a whole slew of other ML and AI related tasks, there are multiple options available for you from vendors and the open source community. The question you should then ask and seek to answer is, what combination of tools and offerings will work together well for my unique situation? Identify areas in your business that could use AI and then seek out experts, vendors, software, and deployment options to fill those gaps. That forms the foundation of your AI strategy. In this scenario, don't go out and build a machine learning team or hire deep learning experts right away. You're better off seeking the help of perhaps a business architect who can help you put the big pieces of the puzzle together, taking a holistic look at your business and help you identify areas where AI can be best leveraged given your business strategy. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos on AI and architecture 
that I share every other week. If you need my consulting help, please reach out at this email address. Thanks for watching.